Toby, are we going for a walk? <laughs> you really been dancing around. Nobody knows that, but you just did the dancing around. Can you speak? Well, that's a, that's a snort. Can you speak? Let's go. Come on. Here we go. Big walk. The big walk, Toby. Look out, Toby. Look out for cars. Look out for bars. Oh, man, I tell you what. Okay, we're... we're we're uploading and working on part five for 24 reasons for the rapture for 2024. Plus one plus 24 five grace period. Maybe go to 2026. We're working on it. I'm working on it. Um, part five is about technology. Man, I'm, I've got lots to say about that. But I wanted to come on first. Just let everybody know I'm uploading it. And uh, oh, man, what is today? It. I am on record of saying that by the end of March and I'm on record of saying by the end of March, first week of April, the world will no longer be normal. Normalcy will be taken away again. But I think I, after looking at the uh, solar eclipse thing and then seeing how 40 days after the solar eclipse crosses and makes X marks the spot on Little Egypt in America. There's a 40 days until Pentecost. And if you look at judgment, like, you know, if, and I've talked about this before, but if, if these are like signs of God's judgment, the father warns and warns and warns and then guess what he pulls out his people before the judgment god does not judge his people the same as his enemies okay the idea of god's judgment is not it's reserved it's not dude i've said this before but i just gotta say it again if judgment if god since G now before jesus yes we see god judging nations in relation to how they treated israel but in the past two thousand years it's been the church age and god has used the nations to, and evil men and good men and evil systems to spread the gospel to spread it all over the world judgment like go look at all the nasty crazy nations all over the world throughout the past 2000 years there was no judgment there's no judgment on these people their judgment is on one question. Did you accept my son? That's how it's been for the past 2,000 years. So, but that doesn't mean there is a coming judgment. Remember, the way I've taught this is that God is reserving all judgment for the end of days. When all the enemies will be gathered together. And the judgment happens one session. It's not judging this nation, then did you do good? Did you do bad? Okay, now I gotta judge this nation. That's not how it is. All the trees are growing up. Let the wheat grow with the weeds all at the same time so that you can harvest it all at once. That's how it is. So, is the American solar eclipse Crossing over Little Egypt, is it judgment? Well, it's a, it's a couple-fold answer here. One, it could be the warning that the tribulation's about to start. It could be. It could be that, hey, if America's done, that then the rapture has to happen. That's for sure. America is not the powerhouse you know, 
in in uh, the book of Revelation. Yeah, you know, the one world system is what we see maybe coming from America and the ten kings that reign over the whole world. You know, some of that is starting here, but that's not America isn't the superpower world team America world police in the end times. It's not there. How does America get gutted? How does America get judged? The rapture. Once the rapture takes place and there's no Christians in America, what do you think this country will become? Look at it now. The restrainer's gone and they get to just have all the <laughs> craziness they want. It'll be idiocracy. They'll put Gatorade on the crops. Right? You got to put Gatorade on the crops so that they'll grow. The Gatorade's good. It's got electrolytes. No, you need to put real water on it. <laughs> All right? The crops won't grow anymore. They'll eat each other alive like Sodom and Gomorrah. You give me your wife. Give me your son. You don't want to partake. What do you mean? You're not going to partake in pedophilia or, you know? That's how it goes. They went from let me do these kind of things in private, just accept my lifestyle, to now, no, you need to teach people about it. And eventually it becomes like Sodom and Gomorrah, where if you don't partake in it, then there's, you're, something's wrong with you, man. Get him, kill him, eat him. That's where it goes. How does America get gutted? There's only one way. The rapture. And then... People of the earth can have what they've always wanted, which is a godless society. Look, read Romans 1. They, your God, I mean, even if you're a born again Christian, you experience this. Like Romans 6, 7, 8, and 8 shows. Your tummy, your pride, your life. You want bad things. You want, you ha and, and some people have a higher gift of discipline than others. But without the Holy Spirit, without the restrainer here, nothing to restrain evil back, it'll go back to those times. Before Christ, we know Rome and Greek society, dude, everybody had a little boy. Everybody had eunuchs. There was no restraining the flesh. They had sexual human slaves everywhere and it was like common here come in would you like my little eunuch to play with you for a minute okay sit down let's have a meal you're rested now come on dude it was sick unrestrained only after christ when the restrainer the holy spirit came remember jesus said i gotta go it's better i go so i can send the holy spirit the comforter who's the restrainer to deposit his Holy Spirit in the believer. And it took a while for that to spread all over the earth. But if you go read history, go look at those societies. They were where we're headed. So, man, praise God. I had no idea that it, I just, I'm telling you, I'm on record for saying I'm, I'm on record for saying that it would come by the end of March, first week of April, but I am asking people to just hear me out. If the great American solar eclipse is a warning from God, which it really sure does look like it, you go relate solar eclipses like this to other times you see pictures of war. You see pictures of judgment. You really do. Jonah and Nineveh. There was an eclipse before Jonah went and got kicked out of the, spit out of the whale. And that, e that eclipse really freaked the Ninevites out. So when Jonah showed up, they were prepared to accept it. Forty days past the eclipse is Pentecost. I believe that is since... 
2017, the Revelation 12 sign, Pentecost this year, 2024, is the biggest rapture window we've ever had. Since, you know, seven years ago. And then, if it doesn't happen, it'll go seven years, I mean, to Feast of Trumpets, which will be seven years from the Revelation 12 sign of seven years of feast, seven years of famine. The only way, my point, it, I don't know. I never heard from God to, who told me a date. I never said that. I'm reading the signs, reading the books, reading the interpretations. Here's my opinion. Um, the only way any, it's like I just, you, you fill up on this and that, what Israel's doing and this person and this thing, evil's growing and this possibility. Nothing moves in a grand way until the restrainer, until the Holy Spirit is pulled off the earth. So, I see the greatest window sent seven years ago happening on Pentecost this year and then Feast of Trumpets. Praise God, man. If that's the case, we're going home. There's a wedding. Jesus has got a prepared place. We all have a horse waiting for us. A flying Pegasus horse. Go read Revelation 19. We're going to have new bodies. We're going to be able to be with all of the loved ones. We're going to be able to sit with Jesus and the angels and God the Father. It's all going to be a gift. And there's nothing more hopeful than that. Sure, there's, there's God, you know, save me, help me here on earth. You have a plan for me and my family here on earth? Yeah, you do. And I accept that. And I thank you, Jesus, for that. But there's no greater gift than being with you in victory in your Father's house. Right? That's the promise. Not here on earth for the Christian. It is. Yeah, you got all the promises are yes and amen for the believer. Here on earth for you. The ultimate promise is to be with Jesus where he went. In the Father's house. That's not what happens in the book of Revelations. He comes down to the earth and reigns for a thousand years. Two different promises. Praise you, Lord. So you're going to judge this place? And you're right to do it, God. And I'm guilty like everybody else. Pray the blood of Jesus for forgiveness and your purchase over me. It took a lot of sacrifice for you to do what you did, and it won. You can... Anyone who raises their hand, anyone who says, I believe, Jesus will take home to be with him and escape judgment, be with him in the Father's house. Praise you, Lord. Thank you. Come, Maranatha, come, Lord Jesus. Uh, I'll be uploading part five about all the technology that we've got now matching up with the Bible real soon. Love you so much. Pray for me and my family. Amen.